I was far meaner to him than that. A falcon instills passion and fire in the environment. I was all sparked up on rage inducers. Other signs are hesitant and have doubts about their judgment. On the negative side, falcons tend to be quite self-opinionated at times, and who could blame them, for they are gifted in this area. Also, if they fail to find a positive environment where their actions are appreciated, these people tend to become highly impatient, rude, adamant, and oversensitive, which may not prove to be fruitful in the long run, especially when it comes to their personal relationships. For some reason I got in the car with John and Golden to go run drugs around the county. All I could probably do was talk about shooting my sex slave musical movie. I still don't know how Golden knew the gates would be open on the north side towards Gopher Canyon. But. Arlena Magdalene, he was confessing his love for me, I was all in love with my movie, and I figured his penis was part of the army trying to derail me from my love, and I was most annoyed. Mostly because as a queer man's bitch bangle, I would never be allowed to be happy, and I must have been fine with that. That's how bad I wanted little Horf and Tranny to be real. By the time we were done, as a way to kind of surprise me, Golden decided to take me by the quarry where he knew I would soon be shooting little Horf and Tranny. So there we were, but his truck was too big. Or maybe Golden is just too big a pussy. He had chased me off of his side of San Marcos Mountain a few years back. And by the tiny bras landfill I was almost certain this was one of the Bohemian Grove Mexican sex slave murder evidence stump trajectory paths responsible for the very existence of the internet. It was about 1 a.m. and we didn't have enough drugs to really just hang out. I cannot recall. But I decided to take my friends up to Clubhouse anyway. It's usually all the same. Serial killer living in a neighboring plot of land. With dead people. Unless it's Sharon Date. Usually they don't mind that they are with Infinity. We didn't go up to the quarry, but I knew they never had been to the West Groves. So instead I was going to take them on a part of the trail they had never been to. I had forbade it. There was no doubt a eh? government serial killer so living in a neighboring the hill. Of land. I was singing like an Irish git to scare away the rattlesnakes, for they are in fact nocturnal. And approaching the clubhouse, I was gobsmacked. This place I go to every day was so much different at night. I never see a soul here. And yet there was a campfire at the clubhouse. Serial killer living in a neighboring plot of land. He was like a fly caught in the tractor beam being drawn in. To my dismay John was encroaching the party. I squealed like a fairy in as innocent a noise I could make. I could not believe a veteran didn't have the sense to not sneak up in the dark to backpackers. 
or warlocks or whoever these people were. I had noticed the fire doing weird things. I too was under this impression. Two murder confessions in one evening I thought. Wowie! Exclamation mark. I told John let's go to this other place. It's the cowboy lounge I can't believe someone is here what a lovely night for it down. I was certain it was now. We were probably only there for 10 or 20 minutes. Who knows. At the cowboy lounge each minute was going by like an eternity. On the way up John got drawn in by the tractor beam again. This time I went with him, I was calling out hello. What are you folks doing here? Absolutely no response. Looking up at this fire, it was dancing around itself, like a pink wheel, like a helix, double torus, somersault on itself. As I spoke, the embers broke up in direct reaction to my words, as if my talking were affecting its flaming existence. I could see no one, no one standing under the tree. John was next to me, we were probably hugging each other in terror looking up at this blackness crusted with jeweled flame. I pushed him to start running I couldn't trust him to know what was going on. We ran down the hill making as much the noise sounds to battle off heating paleolithic Saturnian beasts ghosting through the underbrush made our echo locators sense some huge presence roving with us in hordes. John with the flashlight behind me sent up my shadow in the periphery of my right eye. I could have sworn it was a person. I told John to tell me what he saw. Word for word. I was hoping you could tell me. I stammered to Golden to muster with his words what he saw. Golden said he thought we were both mentalists. He couldn't see anything. No fire. Nothing. To my puzzled face he added. Sometimes the spirits only reveal themselves to a certain few. Still, how did he know that North Side Gate was open? It was a Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. I've always had to drive around that thing. The next day I told Dad about the fire helix. I was not expecting anyone to ever believe me. The words don't do it justice. There are no words to describe such a thing. He was stoked. And he didn't think me a filthy liar. The way I was used to men treating me. And my word. The Inuit Indians had an air spirit among the ranks of their sila, a term that means wisdom in weather. Their air spirit controls the seas, skies and wind. Although considered a kind and beneficial spirit, it strikes wrath against liars, beggars and thieves in the form of illnesses. It is also blamed for bad weather and poor hunting. Among the Mi'kmaq, a tribe belonging to the Wabanaki Confederacy native to New Brunswick in Nova Scotia. They also migrated to Maine, U.S. There is a story of a hero named, in English, Strong Wind to Turn Evil People specifically the nefarious sisters of his beloved, into aspen trees, and to this day he makes them tremble and fear when he comes near the aspen forest. Outside of the U.S., the Aztec wind god, Ihigital, a facet of Quetzalcoatl, was believed to blow the moon and sun into orbit. From a native perspective, the wind seems to be personified as divine messenger, able to manipulate unseen energy. What an amazing experience to open the ears and have the voice of God emptied into it. Or, to view the path of the winds and know it is the soul of a divine being that is sweeping through the land. These concepts made me think more deeply about the wind and its behavior in my little world. Perhaps they will for you too. I got a question about the Native American symbol for wind, or more accurately, these magnificent people's concept of wind. 
I can't claim to capture the tremendous depth and reverence this concept invokes. Dot, 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 but this page gives a fair shot at trying to capsulate the intangible Soon Jin smile. was barbecuing Jeff's mom's books, and things were getting nutty, so I must have left for this unusual reason, and I cannot even really say if I recall anything of what we did. Rest in peace. One year is divided into four important sections, or clans North Wind, Winter, East Wind, Spring, South Wind, Summer, and West Wind, Fall. In my garage Jason and I were assembling the wardrobe and set for tranny. Horrors. Attire. Paintings. For the set. Illicit laboratory. Looking. Recyclables. It was then. That I noticed. A message from little surprise there is much to be desired from the living before some of the more scandalous dead sure and on the other hand nothing has been fixed since her my studies and observations indicate the first peoples of north america considered the wind to be a living force in and of itself the wind is a god a power that is capable of communicating a larger than life language to those who would hear it those who were certifiably authorized to interpret these cosmic messages were shamans, medicine men, and the wise and spiritual leaders among tribes. A common Native American Indian symbol for wind is. It's a common motif among many North American tribes including Apache, Navajo, and Hopi. It's considered a protective emblem and invokes the power of the four winds. Interestingly, this is also a symbol of life and interpreted this way the signs symbolize. Native American symbol represents life, unity, freedom, eternity, balance. <laughs>